So for uh, number five, we're assuming that x and y are integers and we want to prove all these statements. So to prove all these statements, we're going to use these definitions here. Um, and that's the definition of an even number. So a is even if and only if um, a is equal to 2k for some integer k. Uh, b is odd if and only if b is equal to 2m plus 1 for some integer m and c is divisible by d if and only if c is equal to nd for some integer n. So we're going to be using these three definitions here. Um, so let's begin with item a. So for item A, we want to prove that if x and y are even, then x plus y is even. So we begin by assuming, so for A, assume, assume that x and y are even. So if they are even, then there exists, uh, there exists integers m, integers, let's see, m, n, belonging to the set of integers such that x is equal to 2m and y is equal to 2n. So then we have that x plus y is going to be equal to uh, x is 2m plus 2n, which is equal to 2m uh, plus n. And so m plus n belongs to the set of integers because they're closed under addition. And so we have shown that it satisfies the definition of an even number, right? So x plus y is even. So basically we just um, said that x plus y, we factor out the two and we showed that it is equal to two times an integer. So satisfies that definition. Okay, let's do B. Um, assume Assume that x is even. So if x is even, then there exists uh, integer m belonging, so m belonging to the set of integers such that x is equal to 2m. So xy is going to be equal to 2my is going to be equal to 2 times my. And then we say, okay, uh, m y is an integer. So because it is an integer, it satisfies the definition two times an integer. And so it is even by definition. So x y is even. Okay, let's do c. So c is saying if x and y are even, then x y is divisible by four. So we assume, assume, uh, assume x and y are even. Then there exists uh, m n belonging to the set of integers such that such that x is equal to 2 m and y is equal to 2 n. So then we have that x y is going to be equal to 2 m times 2 n which is going to be equal to 4 times mn. So uh, mn is an integer, and so we have shown that, hey, if it's 4 times an integer, that means that um, xy, so xy is divisible by 4. And we have shown here using um, this definition right here, right? using the third definition. Okay, so that is it for C. Um, now let us do D. So I'm going to erase these. Um, so D is going to be if X and Y are even. Um, and so I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep this stuff. So for D, we have uh, assume X and Y are even, right? So that means that there exists m and n belonging to the integers such that x is equal to 2m and y is equal to 2n. So we're going to use the same definition here. Um, and so we have that 3x minus 5y is going to be equal to 3 times uh, 2m. Uh, that's going to be minus 5 times 2n, which is going to be equal to, let's see, I'm going to put out uh, the 2s outside. So it's going to be 2 times 3m 
uh, this should be an m, 2 times 3 m um, minus minus 2 times 5 n, which is the same thing as 2 outside, and that is 3 m minus 5 n. Okay, so once we have this, we can say, okay, 3m minus 5n, that definitely is an integer because integers are closed under um, subtraction and multiplication. So uh, 3x minus 5y is even. It satisfies the, uh, the definition for an even number. Okay. Now for e, we're going to go if x and y are odd. So we're going to say assume assume x and y are odd, uh, then there exists integers m, n, so m, n belonging to the set of integers, such that x is equal to 2m plus 1, and y is equal to 2n plus 1. Okay, so we use the definition for an odd number, and then we have that, um, so x plus y is going to be equal to, let's see, 2m plus 1 plus 2n plus 1. And so that's going to be equal to 2m plus 2n plus 2, which is equal to 2 times m plus n, let me get to the side, plus 1. And then we say, okay, m plus n plus 1 uh, belongs to the set of integers, so this does satisfy the definition for an even number. So x plus y is even. Okay, um, so for g, we're going to also have, um, actually for f, we're going to have x and y are odd, so I'm just going to um, erase this so that we can reutilize the definition for an odd number. So I'm going to erase all of this here, and maybe I'm going to um, move this one up. Okay, so now we're at F, and it says, assume X and Y are odd, and so uh, if they're odd, there exists integers M and N, M and N such that X is equal to M, 2N plus 1, and Y is equal to 2N uh, plus 1. Okay. So let's see, so we have that 3x minus 5y is equal to 3 times uh, 2m plus 1 minus 5 times 2n plus 1. So that is going to give us, let's see, um, that is going to give us 6m plus 3 minus 10n minus 5 minus 5, and so this is going to be equal to, let's see, uh, 6m minus 10n plus 3 minus 5 is minus 2, which is equal to 2 outside, 3m minus 5n minus 1. And then we say, okay, 3m minus 5n minus 1 belongs to the set of integers, so 3x minus 5y, so it fits the definition for an even number, because it's two times an integer, is even. Okay, uh, for g, we're going to use also if x and y are odd, so I'm just going to erase all of this and reutilize it, so uh, we are going to do here, just change this letter, so assume x and y are odd, so we keep this definition for odd numbers, and then we want that xy. So xy, xy is going to be equal to um, 2m plus 1 times 2n plus 1, and so this is going to give us, let's see, it's 4mn and then plus 2m plus 2n plus 1, which is also equal to, I'm going to factor out a 2 from the first three terms, so 2 times 2mn plus m plus n plus 1. And then we show that 2mn plus m plus 
n is an integer because it is closed under addition and multiplication, so x, y is odd. Um, let's go now to item h. So for h, we have if x is even and y is odd. So we're going to say assume x is even and y is odd. Then there exists integers m and n, so belonging to the set of integers, such that uh, x is equal to 2m, because it's even, and y is equal to, let's see, that's 2n plus 1. And so we have that x plus y um, is equal to 2m plus 2n plus 1. So I'm going to factor out the 2 from the first two terms, which is equal to 2 times uh, 2 times m plus n plus 1. And so we say, okay, uh, m plus n belongs to the set of integers, uh, belongs to the set of integers, so x plus y is odd. Okay, that works. And lastly, we want uh, if x is even and y is odd. So we're going to use the same definition here um, for h. So what I'm going to do is leave the definition and just erase the rest of the stuff. And I'm going to move this one up. So I'm going to move it up here. And now we're going to turn this into i. Okay. So i, we have if x is even and y is odd. So assume that x is even and y is odd, and we kept this definition here. So then we have that x, y is going to be equal to uh, 2m times 2n plus 1. So I'm going to leave the 2 outside and just distribute the m, which is equal to 2 outside. Um, that is mn, and that is plus m. And so we say that mn plus m belongs to the set of integers. So... Uh, x, y is even. And that is it. We have uh, proved all the items in number five, uh, just using these three definitions here, which are the definitions for uh, an odd integer and even integer and um, when they are divisible.